This is not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment or educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. Listen, the bad actors that are naked shooting GME, they know the party's almost over. They know that any day now could be their last, where they're running to bankruptcy court for protection or they're talking to the people they've been paying bribes to in the, in the government, in Congress, in the Senate, in order to turn a blind eye to the fraud and corruption in the United States stock market. But I believe, I believe a reckoning is coming. I see a big move coming very soon with GME. And you know who else sees that also? Swiss National Bank. Yes, the Swiss National Bank has been loading up on GME shares. And of course, the shills are going to say, oh, they're doing it in order to lend out shares. First of all, there are no real shares available, in my opinion. Secondly, the, 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 the cost to borrow is like 0.26%, like a quarter of 1% on the year. Nobody is buying shares to lend out at a quarter percent on the year. I mean, it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. They might as well put it in a CD. They might as well put that money in the CD paying 2% if they're gonna take risk at lending at 0.26%. So anybody who's pushing that narrative, in my opinion, you're totally inaccurate. None of these institutions are buying GME shares to lend them out. They're buying GME shares, and I believe they're buying counterfeit GME shares, but they're buying these counterfeit GME shares because they know that sooner rather than later, the bad actors are going to have to cover those GME counterfeit shorts, and GME should start running to the moon. Anyway, here are the GME numbers. Um, the volume, 7627000 352, those numbers mean absolutely nothing because we can't really see what's really going on in the dog pool and the other exchanges they use to manipulate the price of the stock. Um, they're still claiming 26.78% is DRS, but you guys know that means absolutely nothing. Um, calls in the money, they're reporting 24184 and at $30, These numbers are totally incorrect. The numbers are a whole lot higher, but... It's not like we have regulatory agencies or law enforcement agencies that hold these guys accountable. They can put out any data they want, any numbers they want, because nobody's going to hold them accountable. As a matter of fact, based on what I've been seeing, the government profits off the criminality. They take their cut of all the criminal activity and we end up paying for it. Uh, 34 point. 0% of the volume was shorted shares, so somehow they found about 2,500,000 GME shares to short into the, the market and manipulate the price. And the SEC, the DOJ, and the FBI are not concerned about where those shares came from. Don't you, don't you guys think it's a little crazy that these guys could just create millions of shares every single day and nobody asks? Where did they originate? Can we get the chain of custody of these shares? Nobody seems to care. And you know why? Because the majority of people who are losing money are retail investors, pension funds, and institutions that follow the rules. What they're allowed to do in our stock market is, is absolutely outrageous to me. And, of course, they claim they can cover all their GME short positions in 3.34 training days. How do you create billions of counterfeit GME shares every single day, short them into the market? The FTDs don't even show up on a threshold list anymore because whoever controls that is ordered not to report it. And somehow, in less than three and a half trading days, you can cover all your GME shorts and wash your hands and walk away from the play. If they could have done that, they would have done it and walked away a long time ago. They are trapped in the play. There's no way out. The only way out, in my opinion, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell GME, but the only way out for them is bankruptcy court or running to, 
to Congress and begging them for some help. Okay? That's the only way out for them. All Ryan Cohen has to do is make an announcement and these GME naked shooters are going to be in deep, deep trouble. And I believe, and I believe that the evidence is going to be so overwhelming of the criminality that the DOJ, the FBI, and the SEC is going to be forced to act and do something about it. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think they can really cover all their GME short positions in under 3.5 trading days? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.